<laughs> well, welcome back to Rockman 4 Minus Infinity for Wily 4 and the last part of our journey. I can't believe we're facing against Mega Man's most infernal foe, the Sniper Joe. <laughs> the best part about the fight with that Joe is if you try and jump over him, he jumps behind you. Yeah? Oh shit, it's Cup Man! Oh shit! Hello, oh, shit. Cup Man! Elec Man! It's time for Kung Fu it's Cup Man! It's Cup Man! <laughs> it's the rolling cutter, but with Elec Man's attack pattern! Oh, His that's terrifying! His weakness is drills! Uh, there's so much into window here. The real power of right. Cut Man is that he can uh, insult you and make you feel really bad by making some cutting remarks. I was thinking uh. it was Kung Fu, but you've got me there. Uh. If only he combined with whatever the equivalent of Fireman is in this game. Maybe he just really wants to cut you off. What is Perhaps. that box? Oh, hey, you found It is a bird it's box. Big. We finally found our kidnapped bird buddy. Oh, what is this? That's good. That's good. It's food man. <laughs> food man. Qu uh, 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 uh. His weakness is Pharaoh shotgun and uh, spark man bow. And since he's half wood man, this time stopping effect doesn't totally work on him. It just tanks the frame rate. Uh -oh. Yes. That reminds me of, uh, there's a game, Enter the Matrix, where they did the Matrix effect by just cutting the frame rate in half. <laughs> <laughs> so, it drops from 30, which is the normal cap, to 15, and it's a seamless effect. It's fantastic. I God. sure hope so. Oh, no, that's terrifying. <laughs> ja Needle Man! His power is having needles, and two of them. But ah, however, yes. this also Gemini means that if you man. can get them both on the same side of you, you could kill them in like two shots with dive laser. I feel like his power kind of made him worse. Actually, that was not a an advantageous combination for him. It's really just the decision that he made to. Wait a minute, this guy is a, a joke. This fake. He's a jump egg. Does a lot of damage if you don't stop him. He'll just ram you into the corner. That that guy was a lot of things, but Whoa. not a Joe. I'm very upset. Lives have just. Cease to matter at this point, I guess. The fun fact is, if you uh, recycle these and then die and get popped out back here again, the lives come back. Ah. So you can just recycle them again. Nifty. And now for the actual final boss, which is the Wily Capsule. And it is recycled from one of the Game Boy games, I see. No, no, this is... I can't... This is hard enough in, like, an actual... TV screen. I can't imagine what the fuck this would be in a Game Boy. No, the reason that uh, it has the Game Boy thing at the bottom is because it's doing um, uh, HDMA effects, and that would fuck up the, uh, the live display. Thing. So yeah, that's uh, that would fuck up the layer. If we just then make the bottom of the screen this, where it doesn't have any layer effects, it should be fine. Yeah. So it just it puts them on the bottom, so they will never. Move. Okay. That's just me. Yeah, so the gimmick here is that Wily has a whole ton ah, of Don Maku effects, and if you're ever hit by his lasers, they all disappear, whatever's on screen. I love Dr. Wily. Did you, did you if, ever... If they did a Mega Man Rekka crossover, that would be pretty sweet, because Rekka is great, but... And... This is true. So, Wily doesn't actually have any weaknesses except for possibly dive laser because he doesn't get as much invincibility after you hit him with it. So if you feel like being really brave and or lucky, the strongest weapon you can hit him with is a charge shot. I don't think that would be very doable. What are you doable talking about? Man. He's always getting up in your grill. Oh yeah. Did you ever play the Mega Man fighting game? Yeah, I did. Those were weird, because they were, like, wanting to be arcade beat-em-ups, but also fighting games, except you didn't really do much fighting, because you couldn't fight other people. But they were still built as fighting games. And also, it wasn't versus. It was just you versus a dude. Oh, look. Welcome to hell. Oh, shit. This is just like that mention. Wasn't this in that other 
what was that other uh, Mega Man thing that had like this at the end? Uh, that was both exhaust and minimum. But minimum was life force, and this is uh, something ghostly. So, is there any reason why Mega Man's in the last up, uh, last level of Mac and Joe, Joe and Mac? Uh, Miley was actually a demon this time. The alien was just a cover up. No. And now we're inside of a dinosaur. A mechanical one. No, this ain't mechanical. This is all just goofy. Oh, you can't tell me those those angles are natural. No, I was thinking of the one where it was like there was like another doctor and he was like using evil energy stolen from like Rockman 8, right? What was that one? But enough about Dr. Cossack. No, not Dr. Cossack. Come on. You're thinking of Revolution, which was like the first game I did. Yes, Revolution. That's right. I remember that. I actually kind of like that game as like weird and bad as it was. It is so long and there's no reason. It even has a secret ending for no reason other than, yeah, sure, let's do it. Yep, and you can play as Bass, but you should. Bass is like the actual better character, though. Especially because it still runs into the problem of, oh, he does less damage than the Mega Buster. That only lasts up until you get your first boss weapon, and then, oh well. <laughs> you know, like, you can make fun of ROM hacks and, like, fan games and stuff, but they're all better than the Wonder Swan, um, Mega Man and Bass. Which is the worst Mega Man game. It, it's so bad. Why are you even mentioning that? I think it was, like... I don't know if it... I don't know if it, anybody on that game even got paid. <laughs> There's just something so special about a game where they really think that friggin' Fridge Man or Monk Man are great designs. That's true. I didn't even make it through the first stage. And not for a lack of trying. Yeah, I did, but it took a lot of save states. I had to cheat. It's just, there's so many spikes. It's just awful. The, get, the screen does not work with what it wants. Also, fun fact for this entire section, if you use Toad, you can get rid of all the blood. Wow. I, uh, <laughs> I, I remember kind of liking, there's a weird, like, Wonder Swan Mega Man EXE. Yeah, the Battle well. Network one. That one's also bad. <laughs> That's bad, but it's better. Oh, you've got all these different things. It's decent. Honestly, it felt like a shitty Flash game, but at least that felt like a game, whereas the Wonder Swan one for the actual Mega Man just felt like nothing. He was a ro he was a robot. <laughs> <laughs> I cut your arteries off. What are you doing? That's just cheap, <laughs> Wiley. Ah, here we go. Oh shit! So there's one more boss rematch. With the petite robot masters! They're all tiny! One of them just fell through the ground and died. No, that's Drill Man, that's how he, what he does. Oh, I thought I thought he died. So yeah, you have to fight eight robot masters at once with no E-Tank. And they're adorable and tiny, and this was a wrong hack. This is like that one scene from Small Soldiers. If you suck and die too hard, Proto Man will give you the Wily Buster. You can fire huge bullets infinitely. Nice! Like oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> she basically just gives you the ultimate buster from the X series. Nice. Hey, Dr. Cossack is is involved in the X series, as you know. Yeah, he made this other dude who only shows up after seven games. Yes. Oh my god, there's more? Oh, never mind. Oh, they're just gonna blow it up. That's fine. You know, when when Mega Man looks up like that, it looks like he's, like, got mumps or something. His cheeks get really big. Well, he did learn Toad, so maybe he's just half, half frog now. And now it's time for the final, final, final challenge. So who played Kirby Superstar? Oh man, my favorite part, the Endless Runner section of Mega Man. Remember that one? That's great. Yeah, I... I, I, I forgot when they made this. It was like uh, Mario Runner, Sonic Runner, and then Mega Man Runner. It's great. Uh, it's Mega Man Scramble, thank you very much. Is that a real thing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. But uh, basically the gimmick here is that you have like only a little bit of time to get to the end and out. Oh. Sometimes slopes don't work right, but you have 45 seconds to get to the end. If you run out of time, you just die. If you die three times, they take pity on you, and everything not only does, like, no damage to you, but you also get, like, double time. 
Whoa! Whoa! That's radical! And if we hadn't rescued Rush, we would have just slammed straight into Wily's saucer with Hellwheel. He should have had a skateboard when he did that. <laughs> a dog died! Oh shit. Oh, even Beat showed up! He's just there for moral support. How come nobody ever brings back, like, all the other weird pets? The cat, Tango. Remember Tango? Tango is not canon, I'm sorry. You see? Yes, he is. Tango got brought back as a shop pet for Proto Man. And there's, like, an evil bird for base. I forget what his name is. That's Reggae. Yeah, Reggae. Reggae's cool. Wait, I forgot about Reggae. Wait, where's Reggae from? Reggae was an evil bird that Wily made. I think it was from Mega Man... Eight? Wait, is that? I think it's probably it's, eight. Wait, no, 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 no. Wait, what? Are you talking about that goose from Rockboard? Yes, the goose. Look, I think it's, it's supposed to be a crow. I think it, 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 it's an evil goose, and it hates you. <laughs> Canonically, um, Doctor Wily built Reggae to be his friend, but Reggae is an asshole and just laughs at him all the time. <laughs> So he's perfect for Dr. Wily. And that's Wiley. the entire story of Reggae. He just, he's just a dick who laughs at, at Dr. Wily all the time. But, but yeah, let me tell you about why Tango isn't canon. Okay, so, so th the entirety of the Game Boy Mega Man games were made by a contractor. And so every single character introduced by those games was not done in-house at Capcom. And that means they're not canon. But Joe, Tango shows up in Mega Man 10. Non canon. And in Mega Man and Base, also there's Tango. He's in all those things. What? Oh right, he's on the CD. Got about. Yeah. Wow. And he's in the shop in Mega Man 10 as well. Tango is there. So Tango is canon. You can't deny it now. So just. Despite what you said about them never bringing back the the guys, they brought back the guys. But they should bring him back in like a gameplay element. They should have Tango do something. Oh, you mean like the last time he appeared and he just bounced like a pong ball? Yeah, he rolled around. He's my good buddy Tango. Maybe he can be brought back as some kind of anti-air thing. If a bird pops on screen, he immediately jumps on it and kills yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, if Reggae shows up, then Tango eats him and brings him to you and leaves him on your doorstep. Hey, hey, Mega Man, Tango. look at this. This is how you take down birds. Are you paying attention, <laughs> Mega Man? Do you think Rush can talk? No, it, like... Remember in Mega Man 7, and he used uh, Rush Search, he actually barks like a dog, and he- That's true. But in the Hanna-Barbera cartoon, no. he can talk. <laughs> I mean, there's really nothing stopping Dr. Light from making a voice module for- In the episode where lions turn everyone into lion people, Rush says, rot row because, um, I don't rot know. Uh, that was just the thing I wanted to bring up. Why wouldn't he that go that was an episode. Row? Bro, you should get There beat was an up. episode where ancient Egyptian lions invaded the city and Mega Man had to stop them. You should get. And that was one of the few episodes in which Roll was actually really competent. That's true. That's true. <laughs> and the literally apparently has like an about? evil good switch in her. I know! It's like a remote that makes them evil. Why did he program that? Just a little dip switch. Yeah. Wait. Are you telling me that they could have uh, flipped that switch on Proto Man at any time and they just didn't? <laughs> That's why Proto Man has a helmet, so you can't reach the dip switch. And the thing is, even if you take the helmet off, there's just a piece of tape stuck to it that says not working. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that, that, that Proto Man is before dip switch technology was perfected, so, like, you know, you oh, have to no. do it in the BIOS. It's a pain. Dual inline pin. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You have to short, you know, specific parts of Proto Man in order to make it good again. And it's no fun. What is up with this perspective? What the fuck? They, they're falling through the ground! Rush, come back! Come on, Mega Man! I'm your buddy Cossack! Communism is actually the way! I'm gonna shake your right hand with my left, Cossack! <laughs> this works! 
<laughs> Dr. Cossack just wants to help his, his daughter. He's alright. This is actually mirrored and uh, Cossack is uh, offering his left hand because he's from the left. Yes, he is a communist. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> yes, and Mega Man is, of course, um, a fascist, so he would use his right hand. Of course he's American. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Symbolism. <laughs> Actually, he's Japanese, so that's that works too. Oh, no. So he's double fascist. Oh. Oh. He's manufactured in Japan. <laughs> ah, yes, outsourcing, a great American tradition. That's true. True. What is the name of ba Bass's dog? Gospel. Treble. That's right. Treble. Treble. Go Gospel is a better name than Treble. Why? Gospel is basically exactly the same name as Treble, just in Japanese. Bass and Treble. No. It's thematic. It fits. Meanwhile, fucking... What was it? Forte and Gospel? There's no theme there. The theme there is in fucking Japanese, that's also the terms for bass and treble. I hate- No. No! 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 Sai! Sai! I-I-I will come over there and I will kick you in the shins. <laughs> Forte <laughs> does not mean bass. It means strong. Yeah, that's not a thing that's true. That was a lie. Gonna have to add some strong to this uh, audio track. Yeah. Yeah. Fortissimo. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh man. Do you think when when it seemed like base had been blown up, did Wiley say, I'm pouring out a 40, and then he looked at the camera and smirked? <laughs> and, and there was a freeze frame, and it played the. the uh, the ending music. That's what would happen if it was a TV show. I think <laughs> a TV I, show I, that where it has Wally pouring out a forty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see what I did there, Mega Man? That no. pun. No. And Mega Man's like, I don't know. I'm a. I don't understand anything. I'm Mega Man. That's what Mega Man. I'm said. only ten years old. <laughs> I'm... They built me to be a robot child! My life is an eternal nightmare! <laughs> I'm going through puberty every day. <laughs> for the past 20 years! <laughs> I have to go to middle school forever! I still don't know how to read! <laughs> <laughs> I can't drive a car, and I never will! Not ever! But you're a robot, you can run faster than most cars. It's the principle of the thing! You built me to be a janitor, and then you gave me a gun! Why did you code in my voice cracking? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm betting there's like an Astro Boy comic book or something out there that makes all these exact same jokes. True. Oh no, I think Astro Man, like, Astro Boy gets taken pretty seriously, I think. That's kind of the thing. Like, there's no jokes in all the, like, follow up Astro Boy stuff. I don't know why. It's kind of silly, but. He is serious business. This robot child that fights people with, like, a rocket. And a machine gun that, in like, his butt. But! <laughs> well, it's mostly because any kind of joke you can make doesn't really work. And the second part is that, well, a lot of it's actually pretty serious for things that children were supposed to read. Yeah, like, and, uh, wow. there's a really good, um, I don't know, Astro Boy's alright, it's fine. Guys, I think Beat might be a jerk. Maybe, but not as big a jerk as this. Oh no! Ah. So for our final thing, after sitting through the credits, we get ranked on how well we did. Mission, you always get all the points. Friends, it depends on whether or not you rescued your buddies in the last stage. Equipment is how much, how many of the items you got. Playstyle is how many times you died and how long you took. And bonus is extra conditions. Playstyle, you have to beat this the whole game in under 100 minutes without dying. 
every minute you go over, you lose a point up to four. Does Mega Man take his armor off if you get full points in that? No. Or? You just get Proto Man's respect. Uh, and that's well, really that's the most worthwhile thing. Proto Man's my friend. He's pretty cool. He is real I and did strong. It. I made an A. And my friend. Proto Man has to take the Voight Comp test. See you later, Space Cowboy. <laughs> now, see, in the original version that was released to the public, that message would have been a lie. But here, we have unlocked options. See you later, Space Cowboy. See you next mission. Like, do more big video? And zero. Audio? Yes or no? Uh, Special mode. Wow. That's for if you want to play it like uh, like a Baldur's Gate or um, a Fallout or something, you use special mode. Or a Kirby.